dude. Oh, I got, a, got one. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all. So today it is cold. It has been in the 50s and 60s for the past like at least two weeks. So the water was getting real warm and the bite was definitely on fire. And then all of a sudden, yesterday we got highs in the 30s and like mid to low 30s and then nights in the 20s and today is the exact same. It's about 30 degrees out. Nobody's fishing right now. But you know what? We're gonna try. I'm gonna see because the bite was just so good. We're gonna see just how much does a cold front really affect catfish. All right. Well, obviously we got some wind to deal with as well for bait. We got these frozen shad that I decided to not fall out, which was uh, not a good idea. We got ice along the shoreline. Definitely had better days to fish. We're gonna get some water in here, maybe thaw these shad out. Today is March 18th. So we're still gonna try fishing shallow for a little bit, but I'm worried that this cold is gonna push them a little deeper, but that's not a problem. It's got a bridge over there and that's got a little bit deeper water. We're fishing right into the wind, which I did on purpose just cause I feel like it pushes all the fish and it pushes all the dead winter kill and everything. So I like to fish right into the wind, even though it's cold. Well, I got all the sinkers on the rods. Let's see how well I can cut this very frozen shad. Yeah, I don't know if my, oh my God, I can't even get them. I can't even get them off of each other. They're so frozen. Big shad, just gotta cut them into some small pieces. Not going very big baits. Oh my gosh, this is an icicle. Yeah, that's a good bait, just right there. All as big as we need. Three baits there. Those should be good. Literally just a hook and sinker. All we're using, I got some circle hooks. This is a J hook. I don't know why I'm using a J hook, but I am. Let's get these casted out. Those are some beautiful casts. Well, I'm about frozen, but we got the baits out. So for a fish, I'm gonna get my gloves on. All right, well, I've been here not a long time, but we're gonna try something new because this is not working. I think we're gonna try that point over there we usually get some good luck at. All right, well, I'm in the second spot. I'm gonna try to cast the rods off that point, but I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to get rod holders and a camera there. So I got the rod set up here. Okay, I'm in the next spot. A little bit deeper water. Not the most camera friendly place. Not the most comfortable place. Or the best for uh, rod holders. I'm having a nice display, but it's fine. Gotta give it a whirl. If it works, it works. If it don't work, it don't. Let me try it. I got, a, got one. Oh my gosh. I was thinking for a while we wouldn't get anything. Look at that. Holy cow, he slammed it. Oh, I got one bite. Do you? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Oh, the camera's kinda 
crooked. Holy. That took a little bit. He slammed this rod. All right. Oh, this is a pretty good fish, dude, I think. Man, he feels pretty dang good. Holy. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's a big one. That's actually a big channel. Holy. Holy crap. All right, let's let him, let's let, dude. That's a big channel. Oh my gosh. Surprise. Dude, he's like. Oh, I think I'll. Is it a drop off down there? I don't know. Try. Bro, that's a freaking big one. God. Alright. He's up. Up. Dude, that's actually a pretty good fish. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he ain't hooked very good at all. Look at that. You know, the head on him, but it's like skin. Yeah, he. I don't know. He, yeah, he's not very. Doesn't look the healthiest. Thing. No, he don't. Ugh. That is pretty good channel. He's got a really big head, but the rest of him really ain't that big, honestly. When I saw his head, I thought he was a lot bigger. He's cold. I'm cold, look at that. I'm just happy to get a dang fish. I'm, I'm saying nine. I don't think 10. I don't think he's 10. No, he's definitely The head on this catfish, that is actually insane how big of a head he has. Really big head. It's not that long and he's really kind of skinny and nasty. If this was a fat fish, this would be a really big fish. This is a, still probably like a nine pound fish. All right, I'm gonna release him. There you go, buddy. I, I didn't keep him out of the water too long. There he goes. Wow. Well, it's uh, six o'clock right now and I got here at about four. I started fishing, so it's been just over two hours. My friend just left because he ain't catching any fish. We caught one fish. You know, most people cry at home, all nice and snuggled up in the, by the couch, by the TV. I'm still out here. We're gonna we're gonna give this another hour or so, see if we can get anything. I'll say, cold fronts, you can still catch fish, but man, it it can get tough. And maybe it's just me, but I feel like almost the big fish aren't as like sensitive to that. And another thing is is like right now it's uh early spring and especially in like the spring and fall the fronts can really mess up the fish but you know you can still go out you know a bad day fishing is always better than any day else really but yeah we got one fish but it was a big fish gonna give it another hour see what happens I think it's a little past overdue to check these rods, see if they got any bait. Man, as soon as I take my gloves off, I mean, I can feel it. It is cold out, the wind goes straight through this coat and sweatshirt. It might be sunny, but I don't make it any, any warmer out. Well, the bait looks good, but I'm gonna put some fresh bait on anyway. Just up for the chances, maybe a little bit. New baits going back out. All right, well, caught one fish. It is really cold out. I am freezing right now, but you know, that's fishing for you. Gotta get a video out. Can't catch them all. But the fish that I did caught, that did catch. It was a really nice fish at least. Videos every Friday. 
at 2 p.m. Central Time, that is. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. See ya.